Hello and welcome to today's Fusion 360 Quick Tip. Today's Quick Tip is going to cover best practices for importing mesh data into Fusion. As you already know, there are two ways you can import meshes into Fusion. You can use the data panel and upload an STL or an OBJ file, or you could use the insert menu and insert a mesh and choose again an STL or an OBJ file. My best practice is to always use insert mesh, and there's a good reason for this. Mesh files, such as STLs and OBJs, are inherently unitless. So a one inch by one inch by one inch cube would simply have a value of one. A one millimeter cube would also have a value of one. And that could be problematic if you don't specify what units you're using. Keep in mind that the insert mesh option, such as this, is going to allow you to choose which unit you're using, whether it be centimeter, millimeter, meter, inch, or even foot. However, when you use the data panel and you upload an STL or an OBJ file, you don't get the option to choose your units. And Fusion 360 will automatically assume you're using a unit of centimeters. And unless you actually design something in centimeters, you're going to end up having to rescale your part or your mesh after you bring it into Fusion. Let's go take a look at a couple of examples. So here I have a one centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter mesh that was imported using the data panel. If we go and use our measuring tool and I pick roughly the corner, I can't get it perfect, but I'm going to go and pick roughly these corners. And here you could see that this is going to measure roughly one centimeter right here. If I go and use a one inch by one inch by one inch cube, and I go and I measure this, again, this was brought in from the data panel, it assumed that this was going to be one centimeter, and you could see that right here. The same is also going to be true with this cube. I go and I measure nearly the corners, and again, I see roughly a centimeter, regardless of the fact that each of these cubes, even though they're the same shape, are totally different sizes. However, if I go and start a new design and I insert my mesh, I choose any of these files I want. Let's go and use this one inch STL. I get to choose that this was created using inches. We'll go and make sure our units are set to inches. And now you could see when I go and I take my measurement roughly in the corners again, that this cube is roughly one inch. So the key here is that by using insert mesh, you can have better control over the dimensions and units in your mesh and therefore get what you want the first time, every time. Thank you so much for your time. Have a great day.